from fourth to third. I'm supposed to be at Laguna Seca first thing tomorrow morning and my flight literally just got canceled. We're sorry, flight has changed, but it hasn't changed. The flight was canceled and there's no phone number or no way to actually contact them. And I usually fly Delta, sorry, Alaska and Airlines, you lost my business. Good thing my friends over at Con Media were able to get me an Avora GT press car in order to drive six hours north to make it to Laguna on time. Better safe than sorry. I hope we can get out there and I can still get some sleep tonight. Oh, real quick, I'm sorry, I have to. Update on Phoenix is that it was definitely just burn off. People say that's hard to clean that dry chemical fire extinguisher and uh, definitely did not clean all of it, although we thought we did. But um, you guys, we're getting the first set of clutches for the C8 and it comes in next week. So we're gonna be dropping the engine in trans anyway. So I'm super excited. I'll probably just wait till we pull everything before I do a deep clean of everything, but I gotta go, I gotta go. <laughs> Oh my God. Thank you so much for hooking this up. I would have been screwed. <laughs> 3.6 liter V6 supercharged track inspired. Look, you got these Michelin Pilot Sport Cups twos, these AP racing big calipers. Oh, I'm gonna stick out. Good thing I brought that radar detector. And one of the coolest things I wanna show you guys is this analog key. Look at this, it's a very old school. Okay, key in, lights are on, push to start. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta turn on sport mode. Oh yeah, you guys can hear those valves opening a little bit. <laughs> oh, I was not expecting that. All right, let's hear from the back real quick. Oh, I'm gonna get in some trouble. It revs to seven grand, 416 horsepower, and the zero to 60 is 3.8, so, uh, Let's get on the road and really test that because I'm running late. This sounds so good. Woo! <laughs> right, little orange car, let's go. I'm gonna get there in no time now. Ah, good morning, all right, let's, uh, let's do this, shall we? Oh. Wait, we're forgetting someone. Rise and shine. You coming? We'll be on like 30 seconds. Okay, hurry up. Is there an airport right there? <laughs> you wanna go fly some planes? I have my telly shot way because um that was inspired by Arnie. He's a cannonball record holder. He like painted the back of his Audi S6 tail lights in a weird way to make it look like a Ford Taurus. And I got inspired by that. So I wrapped some parts of my Tesla tail light. So now it looks like a super STI from the back in the middle of the night. Because ever since I ran a police scanner when I'm doing like higher rates of speed on the freeway, people don't realize like on a rally or if they're driving fast on the freeway, how much people call 911 on you. Do people call 911 on you that often? Like probably like anything 100 plus, like you gotta assume one of 10 cars is calling out on you. Like, no, like even you, like, every, like especially- Do they driving, call it in as a super STI? Oh, I've heard all sorts of sh I, they never get it right though. They never get it. They never get Tesla. Nobody, <laughs> nobody ever thinks it's Tesla. Yeah. But I've heard obviously Toyota because I have a Toyota badge on. Oh, heard, that's so funny. I've heard Honda. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the vlog, and thank you for tuning in today. Well, we are at one of my favorite places on planet Earth, and that is Laguna Seca. I love Laguna Seca. Yeah, are you excited to be I've here? I've driven here so many. Like I have so much experience. I have the most amount of experience on this track in my Xbox. So you're never a pro. A Naturally, you're a pro. Absolutely. <laughs> well, we're here today because we're going to be getting our full racing competition licenses thanks to Skip Barber Racing. You guys know I did the three-day beginner class, and now we're here to do the two-day advance. Really excited. This will allow me to race in in SRO and so different types of series. Should I choose to do that? This is the Roush Performance Mustang that we're going to be driving today. It is a 4.6 liter V8. Some have five speeds. Some have six speeds. Hey Alex, you know what the fastest race car in the world is? My mom's car. A rental car. This thing is still in its braking period. 892 miles. Wow. Braking in the right way, I tell you what. Absolutely, look at what they're doing over there. We're warming up. We're learning a little bit of maneuvering, what happens if we oversteer, and uh, also doing some time attack stuff before we go on this world famous and probably one of my favorites, racetrack. So we're not supposed to actually be drifting these these Ultimas. We're supposed to be just working a car control and stopping when you start losing traction. And Alex and I are just hucking it into corners, like counter steering on power. They're like, what are you doing? She's like, like, yeah, I haven't been drifting cars before. I'm like, uh, 
he's like, yeah, you're throwing it to the car with the steering wheel. That's not the point of this exercise. We're not drifting out here. <laughs> it's funny. We both hopped in the car did the same exact thing. Let me tell you, I did the nicest drift around the first turn. Bro, I had a good one, happy. too. <laughs> when I tell you guys this is my favorite racetrack, I don't know if you OGs remember when I was here at the Rolex Motorsports reunion, I was invited by Mazda. I was a guest of them. I got to sit up in the paddock, watch the race. And it was my first time actually being at the track, and it was one of the craziest experiences I ever got to, to be a part of. There are just rows and rows on rows of amazing cars that have them. I've never seen in person in my life. That was unforgettable. So actually being able to be here in a dedicated race car, ripping the track, doing hot laps. I can't wait. I, you guys, I, I can't wait. I just want to go on the course trip. It's actually a lot slower of a corner than you think it would be. I've driven it on Forza, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I've driven it on Forza. I actually, th this is a one track I feel like I know just because I've driven it so many times on Forza. I don't know, it's going to be weird to like actually drive on it because every other track I've been to, like, Willow Springs. Does it translate? Is it the same? Oh, they, they, they like, so there's Forza Horizon, which is like the game version, but then there's Forza Motorsport, which is like the simulator version, right. and those things are like pinpoint accurate. I bet you um, have more seat time on this truck than I do. As far as on a video game. But probably. you can't heel toe. No, because I don't have a car that allows me to heel toe, and I've never driven besides my Radical, which is just a motorcycle transmission. We're gonna go out there, we're just gonna, we're gonna drive a Laguna, boys. you guys so we're breaking for lunch right now and I had to share something with you guys and it's a secret that I've been keeping from you your girl bought a 2021 Ford Bronco <laughs> well at least I made the reservation for one I'm still in the market to buy a supercar I will likely still get one this has nothing to do with one or the other any of the Ford execs out there who might happen to be watching this right now help a girl out to get one of the first allocations I wanted to do more of an off-road project after doing Sean's Tundra and working with Sandy who's always out in the desert off-roading. I kind of was inspired to do something on my own. I've always been a fan of the older Broncos, so once Ford released the new Bronco, game over, I was sold. Here's my reservation. Let me walk through with you guys what I specked out for my dream Bronco. It's susceptible to change. Obviously, I really wanted a first edition, but those are completely sold out. Again, Ford, let me know. So it's the two-door wild track in cyber orange with the 2.7 liter twin turbo V6, making 310 horsepower and 400 foot-pounds of torque and uh, obviously the 10 speed automatic. I really contemplated getting the four cylinder in order to get the manual, but at the end of the day, horsepower is key. Maybe we'll, uh, we'll just do a manual swap. I also ended up getting the Sasquatch package with 17 inch wheels, 35 inch tires, a Bilstein lift, bigger flares, and the electronic locking diff. It has heavy duty bumpers and bash bars, bash plates, rock rails, adaptive cruise, and steering assist, which, uh, I mean, I was thinking about getting a Tesla, but once I get this, who needs that, you know? And the only thing left is the advanced 4x4, which can lock out both axles if needed. So, uh, perfect for rock crawling. <laughs> or all-wheel drive burnouts. And we're probably gonna mod this. I do want to do more of like a off-road build. I'm doing the two-door. I know that's more rock crawling than anything, but I just love the coupe. Slightly shorter wheelbase, but I'll get over it. You guys were looking for the supercar. I still think I'm getting a supercar. I need to drive one that I fall in love with before I buy anything, and I think that's what I'm struggling with right now. There's a concept designed that I've seen online, but it wasn't an option when I went to go place my order, and that is the windowed doors, the driver and the passenger seat, similar to what the Senna has, where it's just glass in between. Um, and I know it sounds weird, but it's, I, 
like I really liked that feature and I, I saw it online I was really hoping that's something that I could order with the Bronco but they didn't have the option so uh, either I just cut the doors myself or maybe that's something that they will um, offer in the future. All right that is a wrap for day one tomorrow we come back for day two we're gonna be hot lapping and uh <laughs> <laughs> How did I know? <laughs> Alright, well, we're wrapping up here. It's my time your Tesla. Behind the beautiful Porsche, there's Alex's little Tesla. A club lake right there. Yeah. Unfortunately, the future looks pretty grim. <laughs> <laughs> that was five minutes of my life I'll never get back. <laughs> I'm gonna pull up there. Yeah, drive me over there. I'm cold. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Alex is currently trying to summon me in the passenger seat. That sounds really bad. Well, his Tesla drives to go meet him over there. Oh, suspect. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's not comfortable. The guy's driving. All right, I'm getting out. Underneath the TV. Look at the badge. Will it be? as far as that? <laughs> good morning, good morning. All right, time to head to Monterey. Let's go, baby. Oh, looks like Alex Troy slept in a little bit. <laughs> hey, you guys, day two. We're jumping into this. We're going straight out here to do some hot laps and uh, some passing. So, day two of the Skip Barber Racing School. We're going to go do some hot laps. So, Luna, we're just, we're driving today. We're having a good time. We got fun with Ida. We just got back from hot lapping, you guys. I'm getting a little frustrated with myself. I feel like I was just driving extremely slow, and I mean, ultimately, maybe I wasn't. I'm just being hard on myself, and I'm sure I think, like I was probably great, but I just, I don't know. I feel like I was coming out of corners slower than I wanted to be, but you know, I always have been taught that, you know, when you are feeling frustrated, it's usually because you're learning something. This is a lot of seat time. Oh my God, yeah, look at me right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot of seat time and it's fun. And each session you just keep getting better and better. So, yeah, do you like it so far? Oh, I'm having a great time. It's so much fun. This is my new friend, Lindsay Brewer, by no. the way, you guys. What's up? You're like a professional race car driver. You grew up karting. Yes. You're insanely fast. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it was, it's a lot of fun. I took a little break in college, but I'm back at it now and excited to do some racing next year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> get that degree, make that cheddar. Get that bread, get that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, good thing we're not rappers. We're not quitting our day jobs. <laughs> yes, exactly. And I don't know. I think I'm just mostly excited for people to see the, the racing side of me more than, you know, just modeling that I've been doing in the past. Honestly, all you have to do is see me on the track and then it shows them up. Yeah. Honestly, Alex Troy's a really fast driver. He's a really good driver. So that lap, the fact that he wasn't able to keep up and I'm passing people, I'm catching up. My line was clean. There's a couple corners I want to work on, but uh, my God, like I'm smiling again because, uh, you know, I'm learning. I'm learning and I'm having a great time. I just found out that I'm actually in the fast group, the fastest group here, and that may not mean a lot. It makes me feel a little better because I was feeling a little bit slow, but even Alex came up to me after that run and he was like, whoa, like you were fucking flying. And I was like, okay, I was beating myself up a little bit, but as the day progressed and I had a little bit of coffee, I started shaving off some seconds off my time. I, I can only imagine what I'm actually tracking times, as you guys can imagine, because people get a little bit competitive and uh, it ends up with a car on the wall. And I also think it's pretty funny that the fastest group just so happens to be the influencer group. We got Lindsay, who's been carting her entire life, Troy, who's been racing bikes and cars his entire life, and me, who... <laughs> I'm sure you realize that we run the fast group yeah, of everyone here. Yeah, of course. Okay, well, that's, so. that just made me realize. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, if I, if I wasn't quicker than any of the people here, I'd be upset. Well, you know, it's like... 
the ironic thing is, is that we're also the influencer group. Yeah, you know? exactly. The funny thing is, I think they take a look at like us two girls and they're like, mm, they wouldn't be that good. And we ended up being in the quickest group and we're the quickest of the quickest group. <laughs> Obviously, I mean, I would hope so, but it's funny. It's just funny yeah. to see the reactions. We're just saying how we're like the influencer group. And Hey, <laughs> you're such a dick. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> no, we're just saying that like we're the influencer group, but we're in the fastest group here. Yeah. I mean, you don't, you don't really belong in our group, but... Yeah. Oh, shut up. <laughs> shut Take that back. Take it back. Do you mean that? No. You joke, I'm a bad driver, but I lost you on that last lap. I don't know where he went, guys. good and then people coming up to me afterwards like you get me so hard you had a little misfortune on the track i went from third to zero that's what happened <laughs> reminds me of my subaru except what did i do did i go from fourth to first i think you went from fourth to third and then boom that 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 those transverse they, they don't just go into second they think he missed shifted he thinks he went fourth but Alex the money shifter, that's your new name. I tried to go from third to fourth and then I don't know what I hit to be honest with you. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> <laughs> I like to bend rods and you like to blow trans. Well, we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Talk shit about me when you're faster than me. Oh, I am fool. I couldn't see you keeping up. <laughs> yeah, because we had a bone transition. <laughs> the famous corkscrew corner at Laguna Seco watching some of the cars go down. All right, you guys, we are wrapping up such an amazing, incredible day. Um, if you want to get into racing, I highly recommend Skip Barber. The three-day will get you your novice license, and if you do the two-day advance on top of that, you get your full racing competition license. I don't know, where do we take racing from here? What do you guys think? Comment below, but sunsets at Laguna Seca. I you know, I'm very thankful for what I do. So we're gonna do our little final ceremony here and I got a five hour drive home after that in the Lotus. So uh, I guess that too. <laughs> Neon shoes. I should do that. Thank you. So I don't lose them. Yeah, I'm just, <laughs> yeah. I'm just